Здравствуйте, and welcome back to Blinding Sun. Today we are tr striking Trozna. It is the 3rd of May, 1943. The time is 16.20. Weather is clear, blah, 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 blah. We all know this. The intel we gathered was rapidly sent up all the way to Rokosovsky himself. It was clear the Germans were concentrating a sig were concentrating significant armored forces in areas around Trozna. Tanks, SPA, APCs, fuel, ammunition, supporting vehicles... There was plenty of everything there. It was good. It was too good a target to pass up. The importance of the Kursk salient is indisputable for both sides. The Germans encircling our troops in salients like that was a favorite tactic. They would concentrate their forces on the two flanks and simultaneously strike forward, um, strike towards each other and cut off our forces inside the salient. Our central front had the dubious honor of being the salient, the main target of unexpected German onslaught. Weakening the Germans before the offensive was therefore of crucial importance. So the mission briefing. Army HQ is ordering an immediate strike on enemy armor at Trozna. A flight of Sturmovics is taking off. 519th and 176th IAPs will help escort them to the targets. So we will join a pair of Yak 1Bs in escorting IL-2 Sturmovics to their targets and back. So I'll be taking two Yaks with me. So our task is to cover them from a potential German bounce as well as... Uh, Protect the, uh, well, protect the Sturmovics. So here is our plane. Any second now. Okay, so we will select our correct paint scheme for the 519 IAP. We won't bother with weapons convergence again. We have centerline guns, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I will see you on the runway. Here we are, starting our engine, flaps coming down, tailwheel locked, mixture rich, radiator 100%, prop pitch 100%, and there we go, our machine roars to life. And it looks like we've got two other flights of yaks, but only myself and the second one are actually under my command. And here we go. We're rolling, and we're slightly off to the right, so I'm flying left rather. Woo! As soon as that tailwheel lifts off, we actually get rather effectiveness, which is good. Okay, speed's coming up. 180, 190, 200, should be plenty. Gear up, and we'll level off and accelerate, and bring the flaps up. And we're good. All right, we'll do a good performance climb, wait for our uh, remaining aircraft to join up with us, and we will oh, and we will proceed to the front. Come on, there, oh, there we are. Okay, I think I will probably see you when uh, we are encountering the enemy, or at the very least when we are joining up with our Sturmovics. Well now, here's an unexpected surprise. We've got a flight of fascist bombers passing above us. And they're not strictly actually our target, so I'm not sure exactly what to do about them. Um, they are awfully high, but I think I might try going after them. Uh, it doesn't look like there are any other planes in the area. If there are, we can immediately fall back towards the Sturmoviks. I mean, we're in sort of a combat zone around the front, so it is not like we're very far from our objective area. So unless something happens, I'm going to go after these bombers. I'm going to lean out the mixture, and I'll be leaning for peak RPM, and peak RPM appears to be about there maybe, oh we've got some P-39s going after the bombers, uh, what about the Sturmovics? That is the question. Uh, I'm gonna loop. I'm actually gonna loop back around and see, make sure no one's attacking the our bombers because if those P-39s, they were sort of high altitude top patrol, they can take take care of those bombers if they need to, because we do need to cover the Sturmovik. So, kind of hurts not to uh, go after a target like that, but we may get the chance yet. Oh, and we've got BF-109s raking over the Sturmovik, so yeah, that's definitely going to be priority. So wingman, cover me. 
And I'm actually going to climb so that we maintain our altitude advantage. Engine's overheating. We'll open the radiator to full, bring the power back a little bit. Alright, we might actually get some fighter kills today. Conveniently, I'm pretty sure we can actually outturn these 109s, so... I think we're in a good position. Uh, let's see... These two appear to be splitting up. Maybe if I can find a target of opportunity... Uh, I'll go after... One of them, I'll make one pass and then climb back up to uh, altitude. Oh, jeez! There's a bit of a buffet there. It's because we're going so fast. Because this machine is pretty uh, nippy compared to our old MiG. So, I think I can safely make another pass. Very right, quick burst. Not really in a good posi ah, ha, ha, position. I'm the split S. Oh, I can see a parachute. I don't know whose it is. Um, anyone, and preferably everyone, help me. Where'd the Germans go? We've got two 109 circling in behind me. I'm gonna split S again. Ah, tracers flying past my canopy. Ow. Oh, I think that did something to my engine. Mixture rich. Come on, come on. You know you want to get some power out. Yeah, we're losing RPM. Just cranking this thing into a high G turn. But we're losing power. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Come on. Live. My anemic engine. Uh oh. Okay, we're over friendly lines, but I'm a little worried. Losing power. What about the prop hitch? Mixture. Come on. Come on. Radiator closed. Open. Whatever. You know. Um, okay. Nearest airfield. We won't make it. So let's find somewhere to land, I guess. And you know what? Yeah, we're just getting enough RPM from the engine to kind of maintain level flight. Which is not good. I'm probably going to end up restarting this mission, but I want to see what our uh, outcome is going to be uh, with this little scenario here. And my frame rate is dropping for some reason. Oh, there it goes back up again. Okay, I'm going to land. No. I need to set up my switch for the flaps again. For some reason, uh, IL-2 doesn't always keep my uh, control assignments. Which is a pain, but you know. And we'll do... Power and prop fullback and feather. Ooh, rough landing. Bouncing around. Oh, we're gonna flip. Maybe not. Yes, we are. Okay, I'm gonna try the mission again. Okay, so with this attempt I actually climbed a lot, so I'm actually in a good position to attack these bombers. So I'm at least gonna make one or two passes at them. And uh, see if I can shoot down one or two. Let's see, my mixture is leaned. And we're good. Make sort of a sweeping pass at the tail end Charlie here. Just a quick... Fire a few rounds at him and then peel away before his gunner lays into us. Very good. We shot some jibs off of him anyway. Uh, not sure what the net good was, but they are shooting at us like crazy, but they can't seem to hit us at all. So, I will make another attack. And I just won't fly in a straight line at all. As we close in, and I'll just straighten out very quickly and fire. Okay, that did some damage. Don't know if it did enough. More fascist bombers. I'm 
kind of acting without regard for my own safety, but you know, the motherland takes priority. Oh, we got some good hits on him, and he got some good hits on me, but I don't think he hit anything important. And I think I used um, a lot of my ammunition. But now that the Sturmoviks are starting their attack run, I'm going to go head over towards where uh, they are and the targets that they'll be hitting because they are requesting assistance, so I can only imagine they're under attack because I've been kind of irresponsible. So uh, I will rejoin you when we get over there. Okay, here we are. And it looks like the yaks that were right on the Sturmoviks have made kind of quick work of this 109. But I think I saw some tracers down here, so that means there's more. Um, what do we got? I'm going so fast that this is going to be a problem. Head on pass, eh? Let's go. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to run out of ammunition before I can do anything useful, but you know. We're another plane that the Germans have to deal with, so... At the very least, that is uh, a worthwhile situation. Ooh, he's trying to stall us there. Kind of succeeding, I have to say. Uh, I'm not going to shoot at these guys unless I get a really good angle because I'm very low on ammunition. And for some reason, I'm not getting the performance I would like. Maybe I'll uh, enrich the mixture a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I have this thing trimmed properly. So that's all good. Uh, radiator, engines overheating. And I am still just not getting the performance that I normally do, but uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. Bring back the power a little bit to uh, let the engine cool down! Tracers, tracers, tracers! Wingman, cover me! Help! Where is he? Dropping in right behind us. Okay. Ah! Okay, we're still flying. Help! Anyone? Yoo-hoo! Okay, I think I, my only recourse might be to try and outrun this guy. Ooh, there's got to be a big hole in my right wing. This is not flying properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not shooting at this. Oh, he peeled off. Oh, that is shot to hell. Okay. Uh, we're going home. Right now. 180 degree turn. Oh, that wig is generating so much drag. It is unreal. Alright, trim, 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 trim. Alright, we're going home. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Alright, course of about 210. And. Oh my, it's hard to even keep this thing level. And we're losing fuel. So I'm gonna climb. So that if we run out of gas, we will still make it home. But uh, I think we're okay for now. So I will come back when something more exciting should take place. Okay, we're back, and we're still kind of in one piece, but uh, I don't like our odds of landing. I'm going to have to be very careful, and if I don't get it set up properly, I'm going to have to go around. So I'm going to do a nice long approach. I'm going to overfly the field. Uh, we will get landing clearance, but uh, if they say no, I'm going to land anyway. Okay, we got it. I have the stick about halfway to the left, just to keep this thing level to get you an idea. Because I think at least one cannon shell and several machine gun rounds have hit our right wing. So we are not flying all that efficiently. Gear and flaps are coming down. Tail wheel is locked. And I need to make sure I have this thing trimmed perfectly. Uh, if I were really thinking, uh, I would seriously consider bailing out over the base. But I think we can land. I think we can pull this off. But like, if I put the stick to the center, that's what it does. And I mean, this thing normally in, inherently turns a little bit to the right anyway, just because of the torque and everything, but uh, not like this. 
Like, I have the stick now two-thirds of the way to the left because I'm getting diminished control because we're in slow flight, and I'm closer on this base leg than I would like to be. And I need more power to get through this turn because I'm worried that this is going to stall and that the right wing is going to stall and that we're going to cartwheel. Uh, is my primary concern at the moment, but uh, let's see if we can land. Oh, right wing hit first. Right wheel. Ooh. Flaps up. Flaps up. <sighs> okay, I think we made it. I had to push the stick all the way to the left and it was still rolling a little bit to the right. To give you an idea. Okay, let's get on those brakes. So we landed at a higher than usual speed. And I'll take this turn to the right. And mission complete. And I can exhale. We made it home. Holy moly. Okay, I'll just taxi up to parking. Wheel us around at an irresponsibly high speed and stop the engine. Okay. We got shot up pretty bad on this one. Let's have a look. So the right wing tip is missing. Uh, I'm going to say at least two cannon shells hit the starboard wing. Although... Hmm, maybe not, but anyway, it got shot up like crazy. But we made it home, and uh, that's what's important, obviously. So I'm going to end the mission. And we did get a kill on that mission, so it would have been that uh, Junkers 88. Which is all very good. So we will apply that. And... Let's see, I just want to see what we're doing next time. So we're going to be defending a certain objective, so... Okay, that will all be good. So that will be the next mission. Until then, um... No, not Auf Wiedersehen, that's German. Um, das Vitania.